You don't know anything about what's coming. Hey everybody, this is Dan from MSS Enduralist, and this is an open letter to a friend of mine, and to anybody who might find it insightful, maybe even helpful. Over the years, you've made it really clear that you do not believe that there's any situation that could ever cause an SHTF situation, and you've questioned me on why you should spend money to put back food and water and things like that. And today I'm not going to talk to you about guns or any of those things. I'm just going to talk to you about a thing called personal responsibility. As a father, as a husband, you have a responsibility to take care of your family and safeguard them from things that are seen and unseen. And I want to share with you these news clips so you can visually see why I think it's important for everyone to have emergency supplies in their vehicle, to have emergency supplies in their homes for things that are not uh, without rule of law. It's not societal collapse. It's just the everyday localized emergencies and things that could happen to anybody at any time. Check out the sheer size of this monster storm with a view from outer space as it bears down on 85 million Americans in 22 states. We want to know what it's like out there. What are you guys dealing with? It's horrible out there, and if you are out there, go home and stay there. The storm's already responsible for numerous deaths, including two people killed in North Carolina traffic accidents. And overnight, a desperate situation along Interstate 75 in Kentucky. Drivers stranded after a series of crashes closed all lanes. It's just a complete standstill. People have their cars turned off to save their gas, and there's not even much going on the northbound side. Um, just a lot of snow blowing, and it's very windy. Meanwhile, the nation's capital in Baltimore taking a direct hit, effectively shutting down those cities. We uh, see this as a, a major storm. Uh, it has uh, life and death implications, and all the residents of the District of Columbia should uh, treat it that way. And the weather is expected to get even nastier. Two inches of snow may fall per hour in some spots. The projected extreme high end, 40 inches total accumulation. And expect hurricane force wind gusts to hit the eastern seaboard with the possibility of flooding. Flooding is a challenge for us. Uh, it was a big challenge during Sandy. We were hit very hard in James Watt. Some of the uh, storm surge came up almost a mile into our district. Already the impact numbers are staggering. Around 1,000 car crashes in Virginia, 7,600 flight cancellations through Sunday, and almost 150,000 power outages, all contributing to make this one of the worst storms on record. It doesn't have to be the end of the world or the end of society. It could be a massive snowstorm. It could be an earthquake. It could be a flood. I ask you guys, and especially my friend, just put some stuff back, just in case. This is Dan from MSS Enduralist. Thank you.